Hi everybody. In a previous video, I showed you guys how to do the perfect yellow hard boiled egg. And now I'm gonna share another family recipe with you guys, which is our egg salad recipe. As some of you might know, I'm half Russian Jewish on my father's side. So growing up, my father was an orthopedic surgeon and whenever he had breaks, which was not many, he always loved to take us to a Jewish deli named Larry's Deli. So we would love pastrami on rye and we would get egg salad and big pickles, you know, all that stuff. So my mom made an amazing egg salad recipe and she taught me how to do it. And now I'm going to share that with you guys. So one of the things she would not approve of this, but I'm going to explain why. So this is one of my favorite gadgets. Okay. A little sidebar on this. So I used to be an avid poker player and I used to have games at my house every night. So one of my friends in particular, we were playing and he busted out and crashed on the couch and he ended up crashing on my couch for five years. So he became my roommate and he would do different odd jobs and stuff to kind of make ends meet. And one job that he had was selling choppers at the mall. So I had never used one of these before, but he brought one of these home as a gift for me. And I love it. I'm obsessed with it. My mother doesn't really approve of it because she's old school, you know, with chopping skills and everything. But look, I'm a new mom with a full-time job, so I need whatever's quick. But I use this for my egg salad recipe. So we're gonna take an egg, okay. We're just gonna give it a nice little chop, dump it into the bowl. Okay. And you just wanna continue to do this with the rest of your eggs and put them all in this bowl and then we'll mix from there. So that's the last egg. And now we're gonna to go to the next part. Okay, so now we have our chopped hard boiled eggs. This is fresh dill from the farmer's market that I already chopped, which is right here. So what I like to do is I like to add, this is white wine vinegar. This is my favorite organic mustard. It's called, it's from a company called Organicville. I've had a ton of Dijon mustard. Um, I lived in France as a kid. Everything was Dijon mustard on everything like steak, eggs, chicken. I mean, I became obsessed with it and finding a really great organic Dijon has not been easy, but this company rocks. And this is a mayonnaise that I like to use. Um, I don't put a lot of mayonnaise in the egg salad, but you definitely want to have it to add creaminess. So you want a little bit of it. Um, but I tend towards not leaning too heavily on that. So I have my salt and pepper, my dill, mustard, mayonnaise, my white wine vinegar, my chopper. I can move over here. That's over there. Okay, great. So I kind of eyeball this, but I usually start with, let's start with around a tablespoon of mayonnaise and see if you want to add any. So let's do a tablespoon of mayonnaise. This will be about, you know, two tablespoons of, uh, Dijon mustard. I tend to go a little heavier on the Dijon mustard because as I said, I love it. You know, give a generous twist of salt and pepper. I also tend towards Himalayan salt. Um, I love a brand called Real Salt, but the Himalayan salt is just a nice smooth flavor and I just got into the habit of using it. This is some chopped dill. I love dill, so I tend to kind of overdo it a little bit. And this gives really nice acidity. This is the white wine vinegar. It's only a couple tablespoons, uh, teaspoons. And then you just give it a nice mix. And as you can see, I don't really like it too creamy. I've had egg salad at a lot of delis, and they always go a little overboard with the mayo. And because of that yellow, it's this beautiful, vibrant yellow color because of the way that we hard boiled them. One thing you always want to do is you always want to have a, like a little pile of kind of tasting spoons. One thing I learned from Bobby Flay, I was a judge on Beat Bobby Flay. And one thing he said was with his students, he said, if you're not chewing, you're not cooking because he always thinks you should be tasting the food as you cook it. That's really good. I'm going to add some salt because 
I love salt, so I'm gonna add a little bit. Again, this is, if you guys want, wing it at home, try things out. And if you guys want me to write down the specific recipe, because some people like having the specific amounts, I can totally do that. So just ask that in the comments if you wanna see that. A little more, a little more acid. And this should be ready to go. Let's give it one more taste. It's pretty good. So one thing that I do when I'm on set, easy snack, this is like an easy go-to, is I, I always love crunchy with something kind of smooth. That's my, I just love texture. So this is a fresh heirloom tomato that I got at the farmer's market yesterday. And it's tomato season, so they're so incredible right now. I mean, look at that. It's, they're just so beautiful. I, I'll literally sit and eat an entire tomato with just salt and pepper on it. Okay, so now what I'll do is you just give a nice little heap. And this is awesome when you're at work. This is just a great protein fix. A Little bit of carb, then you throw on a tomato just like that. And I like to hold it like a sandwich and eat it. So one thing I love to do is whenever I'm doing any kind of like burgers or anything that I'm not doing a bun with, I always just plop some lettuce on top because that's always a good, it gives you a good kind of handle on it. And this is a great snack that I do. I mean, you could put the egg salad on anything. You can just have it with a little bit of crackers, some cucumber sticks, whatever you want. But it's a great go-to just to have in the refrigerator. Um, so I'm going to eat this snack now and I'll see you guys next time.